Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town Hall 12 Let's Play, where the uh, elixir issue is being solved. You guys remember last episode when I said, enough is enough, I need elixir now, right? And so we made the switch to barge, and it has been the best decision that I've ever made, besides maybe getting married. That one was pretty big too. So, um, I want to show you guys really something amazing. Um, first of all, the raids have been amazing. The loot has been crazy. Look at that latest raid. Over 600,000 each, 5,400 Dark Elixir. I think I had, yeah, look at that, 8,000 Dark Elixir. That's insane, but that's not the one I want to show you. If I go all the way down, you'll notice, look at that one. I got a three-star with Barch. You guys want to see that? Of course you do. Let's go check it out. So, uh, first of all, look at the, I'm going to, I'm going to pause so that we can actually look at this base and really look at it. First thing I see is those beautiful storages right there that's the first thing i saw and then i noticed oh the loot's pretty decent wow and then i realized something about this base and do you notice anything weird about this base i'll give you a minute yeah it's got like no defenses i know right uh, so here's what we got we got uh, an eagle artillery we have two inferno towers we have the baby cannon and of course the teslas right that's it this base has no more defenses than that. Crazy, except for obviously the defending heroes. So this guy needs to watch my Fix That Engineer series because as of right now, he can be three-starred with Barch. That is a very sad situation. In fact, actually, you know what? No, please don't fix your base because I sure had a fun time three-starring it. Uh, just amazing. I sent actually the, the Barch all the way from the top so I wanted to be able to get the Eagle Artillery with my wall wrecker so i uh, deployed it just in line to where all that would happen and my king and my queen the cc everybody would follow behind i wasn't really worried about anything else i just thought you know what let's take out the eagle real quickly didn't even really need the wall wrecker i don't think but i had no other way to get through the walls and they're decent walls so i didn't want to you know i didn't want to get stuck so at this point i bought the king's ability i figured you know what he'll just get mad for a minute but he's not gonna really do any good and now all the defenses are down no big deal. Ooh, and there's a tornado trap. I never even noticed that. But uh, but yeah, so without really a whole lot of effort, there's you a Barch three-star worth a lot of loot. Ooh, giant bomb. Yeah, he's got a got several traps. Bummer, but it's okay. And I actually saved that rage spell from the CC. So there you go. Uh, a three-star with Barch. Found a base with practically no defenses. He's chilling in Gold League. He's trying to stay incognito. But I found him, and his loot is all mine. I love that. I absolutely love that. Anyway, so let's go do some raids. I have been enjoying this because the loot seems to be fairly easy to get. Ooh, this is actually a really good one. This is a good one. I like it. Uh, the reason why I like it is because the storages are legit sitting on the outside. Maybe not the uh, Dark Elixir storage, but hey, all the other storages are. So let's just... Magical thing. What's this called? Spirit finger. Let's go. Spirit finger out. Archers or barbarians first. Archers second. Now, because it's a relatively strong base, I'm not expecting to get all the loot like this. But I do have my heroes. I do have some lightning spells because the spells are cheaper right now. And um, yeah, we'll just see what we come out with. And then I can probably use my wall wrecker and um, and do some pretty decent job, either like getting the dark Lich storage or something like that. So, yeah. Man, that stupid eagle artillery ruined everything, though, didn't it? It did. It did. It ruined everything. All right. So, let's just think about this for a second. I didn't get all that much loot, to be honest. Do I want the dark elixir or do I want the elixir? Here's the thing. Today, I'm going to finish with the elixir upgrades. Except for the little ones. You, you, you'll know what I'm saying in a second. So, today's a big day. Today's a really big day. So, I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we dive in and we take out the eagle. No, there's not enough for all that. Never mind. Um, maybe two elixir storages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go. Let's go king and wall wrecker. Okay. King is going to do something very important. Oh, man, but that single inferno. But that's actually okay. I don't care if that single inferno gets my wall wrecker. What I care most about is that I get the elixir out of that storage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So the... Uh, I'm going to pop the king's ability. The yetis are going to take out the single inferno. No problem whatsoever. And then, oh, but there's CC troops. Blast. All right, let's poison that. Let's poison that. I got to get my queen. I got to use her for something. 
all of the elixir coming out of that storage is going to be great. Let's use the queen to take out this elixir out of here. And you know what? I'll pop her ability right here. I don't want her to deal with all that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to lightning spell down the dark elixir drills. Well, the queen will get that one. That'll work. Let's lightning down that elixir, uh, elixir collector as well. And... Close out right after all that is done. There we go. All right. So that wasn't as good as I was expecting. But with that loot bonus, that was still over 400,000 elixir, which works just fine. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to request for some more CC. Get my poison spell. And we're going to go to town now. Actually, you know what? We don't need to go to town. We're just going to go to another village. Another person's village. Yeah, yeah. That's much better than going to town. No one cares about going to town. We're quarantined anyway. So uh, let's go in and see what other loot we can get. But like I mentioned earlier, um, I'm really looking forward to finishing Elixir upgrades today. And that's Elixir buildings. Buildings that require Elixir in order to upgrade them. Uh, that way, future reference, we can use all Elixir on the Grand Warden. And we don't have to think much about it. We can just kind of do our thing and be done. So that's kind of the goal. But short-term goal was to find a base exactly like this. Oh, this is glorious. Look at this. All the loot sitting on the outside. Look at that. Look at that. Full collectors and mines right there. Look at that dark elixir drill. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. So I'm just going to send basically the same thing. Four-finger deployment. And we're going to have some fun with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. One of the easiest things to do ever is to sit, chill, watch your favorite TV show, watch some movie, whatever, have the boost going, and just wrap up bases in Crystal League. It's literally like the easiest thing in the world. And then you come out after an hour or two, and boom, you got loot everywhere. That's actually how I started today. I, I started today, I watched a little bit of my, my, probably my favorite TV show, The Office, right? Steve Carell, gotta love it. And came out with tons of loot afterwards, so it was good. So, okay, after seeing the dust clear a bit, I'm thinking lightning, lightning, lightning. Generally speaking, the lightning spells is not necessary. It's too expensive. It's wasteful if you do it this way. But again, because they're discounted for me right now, um, it's like 5,000 per lightning spell or something like that. So it's actually worth it. But I generally don't do that. You guys know that by now. All right, so 54% one star. The loot on that raid was Perfektenschlag. Yes, that's another uh, office reference in case anybody knows it. Let me know in the comments if you do. But there we go. Over 600,000 gold and elixir and 5,500 dark elixir. That was awesome. That was beautiful. Oh, Phoenix. Thank you for the CC. Didn't expect to get one. Thank you very much. All right. So we've used our armies. Now let's spend the loot. First things first, collect, jump into the progress base. And here we are. All right. So the next step is to make some decisions. First of all, we've only got two builders available. We have the hidden Tesla, which is still working very, very slowly. We have the Grand Warden, five days until he's awake. And then the Inferno Tower, 12 days, right? So the thought here for today is finishing our elixir upgrades. And that includes these final dark elixir drills. We've got two of them, each one being three and a half million Elixir. I'm also going to need a ton of Dark Elixir to max up my, my king and my queen. So it's a win-win. Plus then, the only Elixir upgrades I have left are the gold mines. And I've only got three of them right here. And they're relatively cheap. They're kind of like filler upgrades anyway. So that's kind of the direction I'm leaning right now. I really, I'm thinking that'll work for me. So, um, so yeah, the only thing I need to do is consider maybe upgrading some walls. Let me see. I've got uh, three days until my next builders are available. So you know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade some walls. I think I've got some wall rings. So let's go ahead and upgrade some walls with wall rings. That's one. Uh, I'm going to keep track of how many walls I do. That's two, three. What? Where did all these wall rings come from? Four. What? Five. Six. Oh, wow. Dude, that was six, 12, 18. 18 million loot in free wall upgrades. I have no idea where the wall rings came from. I have no clue, but I'm happy about it. Nice. All right. So now let's spend our gold. I'm going to do one and I'm going to be two. So that's what? Six, 12, eight, eight. That was eight walls now. That's awesome. And then I've got my treasury. Do I need to collect that? I really don't. I can just leave that in there. It's safer in there than anywhere else anyway. And last but certainly not least, let's get these two dark elixir drills 
upgrading. And then we're going to be set. The rest of our elixir will either go into laboratory, warden, or last scenario, walls. And then again, these last three gold mines, but it's really cheap. It's not even really worth considering. So, dark elixir drill number one, three, two, one, bam. Dark elixir number two, three, two, one, bam. Nice. Bro, it feels good to win. It really does. It feels good to win. Because here's the thing. Right now, we're golden. We really are. If you look at all the suggested upgrades, the only elixir is gold mines. Everything else is either a gold upgrade or a hero. It's amazing. And I won't need any elixir in my lab for the another for another 10 days. And I may even go ahead and do dark elixir again just to continue to pour elixir into my warden. So we're good. We are in a good position now. Finally getting those dark elixir drills maxed out. And... Another win-win is we're going to be getting more free Dark Elixir after that upgrade is done in six days. So, feeling good, man. Feeling really, really good. So, guys, that's going to do it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 12 Let's Play. Amazing progress today. Kind of going, moving into a new chapter in this series. Very, very exciting. Be sure and like this video if you liked it. If you're enjoying this Town Hall 12 Let's Play Resurgence, which I know I brought it back like a month ago, but it still feels new to me. Um, also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and to join the hashtag Klaus family. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos. And don't forget also the members, $1.99 a month gets free or not free, but early access to my videos 24 hours early and ad free. That's where the word free came from. Ad free. You don't have to watch ads. So check it out if that sounds interesting to you. The link is down below in the description. Also, don't forget to support your favorite content creator, whoever it may be, using the creator code. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. Remember that it does disappear after seven days. So you always want to double check and make sure that you're supporting somebody using uh, uh before you make any in-game purchases like the gold pass or gems or whatever you can use the link in the description if you want to automatically input the code or manually check it and then input it yourself hit the gears button at the bottom right side go to more settings and scroll down to the very bottom and bam there it is create a boost currently supporting klaus or again whoever it is that you want to support uh, guys that's gonna be it for me great day today remember that i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time.